so welcome to vishwa blooms hi so today we are looking at class 8 polynomials aim to challenges fifth and sixth one in this video we will discuss okay till fourth one we have made two videos before so let's do it fifth question if x power 3 plus 2x square plus ax plus b has factors x plus 1 and x minus 1 then find the value of a and b so here in the equation in the polynomial you have two values here a x plus b where a and b values we don't know so we have to solve it we have to find them find the values of it actually so how to find we will see first fifth question what is it is they have given the f of x value is two value two are there no one is only there that is x cube plus 2x square plus ax plus b this is the given f of x and the factors means g of x right it has two g of x so first g of x here one i am putting one first g of x this is it is x plus one when we equate it to zero it becomes minus one rhs plus one goes to rhs and becomes minus one that's right so now wherever you find x in the polynomial just put minus one so f of minus one is is equal to minus one cube plus 2 into 1 square plus a into 1 a into 1 means 1a right if you don't write also there is no use so actually minus 1 remember it so a into minus 1 we will write it it's okay plus b so it was clear right see see the poly f of minus 1 you have to solve this i am told i told you in the very earliest Solving is your part. As and as homework. Okay. So when you solve it, you get. Okay, for this I'll solve. Not an issue. So minus one cube is minus one, and uh, minus one square plus one. So two into minus one plus two. You get minus one into a means minus a plus b as it is. So this also actually, when it is a factor, we know that. When it is a factor, that equation, will, that polynomial will be equated to 0. We know that already it is a factor. So, just equate it to 0. Everything, okay. And one more thing here, you should not keep equals to them. Put a double arrow. Because there is a rule in maths that you should not have two two equal to's in one statement. Okay. So, just I am making it arrow. Okay, this is one of the rule of maths. So, when you, you will get like this. Now, minus 1 plus 2 is minus 1, right? So, then you will get minus 1. It was here now. If you solve this, you will get minus 1, right? So, when you move this to RHS, it becomes plus 1. So, A minus B, that minus A plus B or B, A minus B is the same. So, A minus B is equal to 1. This is the first equation. Why we equated to 0? Because it is the factor. Factor means it will be equal to 0. You should remember that point. Okay. Once. So let's continue. We have uh, a minus b is equal to 1. There we stopped. Now, here we have one more factor, right? g of x. One more g of x. You have to write the f of x once again because uh, it will be easier for you. But I am not writing. You should write. I said, okay. Second g of x. First one is we solved. We got a minus b is equal to 1. Now second g of x we have uh, x minus 1. We have to equal it to 0. Then plus minus 1 goes to r h s and becomes plus 1. So x is equal to plus 1. Now, wherever you find x in the polynomial, just put down 1 there. So, f of 1 is equal to 1 cube plus 2 into 1 square plus a into 1 plus 
b right this was the equation now when it is a factor equating it to zero you should not have one in one uh, statement two equal to just i'm making it a arrow now when you solve it one cube is one two into one square two a into one a plus b is equal to zero and then here a plus b one plus two is three just moving it to our hs it becomes minus three so a plus b is equal to minus three that's all this is the second equation equation number two so just put it two. now uh, we got this much now what we have to do is just we have to solve both of them that means we have to solve a and b both first and second equation so just write solving a and b okay so it is a minus b is equal to 1 for the first equation a plus uh, sorry a plus b is equal to minus 3 is the second equation now just uh, what we will do we will add up so here plus here plus only it will be there here it becomes uh, yeah plus into minus is minus only so it's minus itself so now uh, a plus a 2a now b minus b 0 cancel strike it done that now b term is not there um 3 minus 3 1 minus 3 minus 2 so a value is minus 2 by 2 it is minus 1 now what we shall do now only we got a value how to find the value of we don't get confused you have two equations here right put a value in one of the equations you will get b value clear now one e first equation i will take a minus b is equal to plus one so substituting a is equal to minus one in one of the equation that is first equation i am taking you can even put it in a plus b is equal to minus three so a is minus one minus one sorry minus b is equal to one and uh, what minus one goes to our hs sorry this go with this value go to our hs and become plus one so minus b is equal to one plus one minus b is equal to is equal to sorry sorry here something went wrong <laughs> one second it's not there okay yeah so minus one goes to our hs so minus b is equal to two one plus one is two so this value if we move there it becomes b is equal to minus two okay so we got both the values now a is minus one b is minus two done fifth one now look let's look at the sixth question sixth question is determine the value of a if x x minus a is the factor of polynomial x cube minus a square minus 1 x into x plus 2 so we have to find the value of a where a x minus a is the factor so don't look confused i know you don't understand this question it's a bit tricky question but not that much first write the given data every time it makes us easier makes the problem easier first given p of x so p of x was given right that is x cube minus a square minus 1 into x plus 2 this was the given equation um polynomial so as we know it is divided by x minus a right so we can just equate it to zero now anyways if you if you equate it equate the g of x to zero also nothing no use we are having x 
some use will be there. I'll say we want it. G of x is x minus a. So when you equate it to 0, what will happen? Minus a go to RHS and become plus a. So x value is equal to a. So x is equal to a. Now wherever you find x just put there a. So p of x becomes p of a now. x square is a square minus a square minus 1. Here x minus, sorry, x plus 2. So it becomes a plus 2. That is equal to 0. Okay. Clear? Yes. Now what we shall do? We have to simplify it. What it happens? So when you remove this bracket, how to remove? Just multiplying both of them with a. So, it is a cube minus, now, a into a square is a cube, right? Minus a cube, because here minus sign is there, here minus is there, right? That's right. And now, a into mi minus 1 is minus, sorry, here again you have minus into minus is plus, so plus a. Plus 2 is equal to? 0 so a cube minus a cube is it get cancelled and a plus 2 is 0 and finally plus 2 goes to rhs and become minus 2 so a is equal to minus 2 just we have to put a wherever you find a even x that's all we got the answer right so we have completed fifth and sixth now let's look at the next questions in the next video so thank you do like share and subscribe to vishwakams